I got a question from some uh, guy on Instagram, which was very interesting. He asked me about what I think about the current development with smartphones and their increasingly addicting influence on, on people. He was giving an example um, on a date. He was with one girl that couldn't keep her eyes off of her smartphone. And yeah, I mean, for that situation, definitely disrespectful for him. But yeah, what to think about is that the problem of her on the smartphone, definitely like a problem of her. that you um, <laughs> encounter such a person that is not interested in you at all and just in the smartphone and the phone that's going on there. Um, mostly that guy definitely is, is a good looking guy and charismatic and and also uh, is, has a smart mind and open mind so asking good questions so I don't think that she was looking at the phone because it was boring. So that said is, I like to always um, give people, um, have assume positive intent, it's called, and, yeah, I always assume positive intent, so I think, oh, maybe there really is something that's way more important for the person, that phone, and means for me I'm not really that important so the person should maybe rather be occupied with a phone and I should do something on my own so that means I should leave but of course you can first ask uh, what's going on <laughs> did someone die or why are you on your phone all the time give also a little bit the humoric maybe neck a little bit the person that it's <laughs> that the person is noticing the strange behavior and then you have to decide if you if the person still keeps on the phone then basically it can get worse for you from there so yeah you might as well just leave and get a girl that appreciates you right but yeah that's, that's just for the specific case for dating right this can be like this like this um and also it's just with that situation maybe there's something important going on but yeah, I'm drifting away from the topic of smartphones. And what I see is like, it's not so much the problem with smartphones, because when you see people being occupied with a smartphone, what they do most of the time is that they are on social media, and they're scrolling through Facebook, they're looking at Instagram, they're checking the new Snapchat stories. and. Yeah, I think it's obvious that those <laughs> social media networks, they are definitely constructed for, uh, for being addicting and for keeping people on their, on their network. So it's not so much the smartphone itself, it's just that it connects people to it. Because I also think that people <laughs> that are on their computers, they are at work and they have internet connection that they might also just post Facebook there on Instagram and look at stuff. It's just, yeah, people get money nowadays from views and it's very strange because um, what do they do? I mean, they, they get money from views, they get money from information that they sell or do they get money from the revenue that people do on the ads because people are putting ads on there and then connecting people there and what I had to think about is that those networks they want to give, get information about people they want to hand out different uh, groups to targeted ads so that when you have advertisement for your voting company that you actually 
reach those people that need a boat, that have a boat, that live next to water, not some sheikh in the desert that is not interested in this, or some guy in a trailer park, or a banker in New York that has aquaphobia. So they gather this information and also information about behavior, which is very interesting, but then you have <laughs> which is very very curious. Then you have what now came out with Google or which you also know about Facebook and what they don't really say but they actually also influence behavior. So they have this observer effect <laughs> which is was just basically like if you know from shooting a scat that if you measure something then you just through measuring you're already affecting it but they have the effect first they influence your behavior with a platform by keeping you on that all the time and with a crass example of that girl that is all the time on the on the platform and then they're checking oh what does a person need ah, well, the person certainly doesn't need to be on the platform all the time. It's like the least important thing. But, <laughs> ironically, it could be that this person then gets advertising for dating and, uh, like, recommendation. Oh, how can I how can I find a nice man? How can I uh, be attractive and maybe do some nice makeup or get some more clothes so that people find me more attractive? <laughs> But then on the other hand, the, per the person shows up on a date and is completely engulfed in the social media <laughs> and it doesn't work out. Oh my God, How did, who could have thought of that? So I think it's just one way that it could be that social media is just taking so much, um, um, yeah, so much influence on the people that use it and then basically creates its own information for example what you could also imagine is you have all these influencers on Instagram and they use certain products they have a certain brand that they use then put brands advertising on their sites and so just by using that you create basically a demand or problems for them that you then sell them so Definitely, I see it's like very, very strange if you think about the power that they have. They're yeah, using it like very, very strange. So, what I would hope is that they would use it for creating more intellectual connection. Uh, for example, Facebook, they see what you actually use while you are on the website. There should be ways to find that out and then make a connection for you that um, is beneficial for you too more in a way like you are talking about a certain topics and then you get connected with people that actually work in that field that are lead thinkers in this area but no, they just want to sell you stuff nobody wants to get sold and but there's not really some kind of um, catalyst for creation itself it's just exchange and yeah, to coming back um, for the phone itself, I think there's nothing better. I, I would never uh, want to want to get my phone away. It's just such a powerful tool. I can connect with people all over the planet. I have access to all kinds of information. Yeah, probably to all information like to the majority that was ever created for, from humanity or at least documented so I have this repository I can now make a video just standing here at Costanera in a city in Chile in Valdivia and make a video and share my mind with someone that is in a completely different country and this just shows how powerful it is, but it's a tool. It depends on how you use it, right? Um, if you have a hammer and you use it for for building a house, 
bailing wood together, right? That's very good. It's perfect use. But if you use it like to uh, chop you on the fingers or something, it's a bad use, right? So if people use their phone bad, then yeah, if you have, if you look at okay, how can you use your phone bad? Well, you can use your phone bad that hurts yourself by just being engulfed in this and having the, the wrong intention of results so basically you use it just to entertain yourself and to make yourself happy and not realizing that you can do this through other means with other people you can realize that you're actually happy already inside and that you create the happiness yourself and you don't need to scroll to something or what is also increases probably then the what I have to think of like for bullying, cyberbullying is probably also a topic with social media which also gets a little bit more publicity so people can do something against that and then a third one which maybe is not so prevalent for so many people but uh, with social media with YouTube you have um, a, a nice platform for sociopaths that can finally come friends around and get the stage for their for the big act and to get all the fame that they want to have so yeah to closing it's just um, from that those ideas it's just if something is really bothering someone and oh god those people are doing stupid things yeah yeah I, I mean that's something in life that you have to get used to that people do really stupid stuff and it just starts with people being on Facebook and being on the internet again and um, it's one of the things you have to accept and you can't make people, force people to be happy um, you have to see that there will always be people that do stupid stuff that <laughs> you might have a hard time to agree with and what you want to do is if you want to change is first disconnect yourself from that um, important is that you and your mind and you yourself are good that you don't have, have those problems that, that you see it is already a good step towards that you can disconnect from that and that you hey, you find yourself okay I'm, I'm good I know that it's not good for me so I won't do it then it's important that you disconnect that you have to load this burden on you that you think you have to do something about it that other people are stupid and do stupid stuff they might have good reasons for this or not that's that's not really your problem but if you want to do something about it then you have to think about okay um, what is the incentive why are they on, on the, those platforms all the time why do they waste their time on it and you think about okay what kind of incentive would they have and what I think is it's just okay it's super easy to go there and be entertained but the alternatives are that they don't really have any alternatives their lives are boring they have a job they all their friends do that shit so <laughs> when they are together then they're just on their phone because nobody really uh, knows how to start a conversation or be entertaining or do something actually fun together so they just basically have like a circle okay one is on his phone he doesn't uh, start an interaction so the other one goes also on the phone and then everyone is on their phone it's just that they are bored they don't have anything to do so as long as there is not a better alternative to do something interesting to engage in an activity that is way more fun than social media which I, I guess um, if you try a bit then you find something that is actually a little bit more fun then yeah then we stay on the phone until something like this comes around so yeah no need to force someone on anything that will just backfire just look at why people do things and then help them raise their standards, raise their happiness and have a better life. Yeah, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you think.